Hi Leos, I'm going to introduce you to this guy, Kevin Lyons. He is a painter, a muralist, and an illustrator. We're going to do an art project based on his work. We're going to be inspired by his silly guys that he does with these great faces. You might have seen his work on this bag of Jolly Rancher candies. I love how he puts words in the mouths of some of his silly guys. This art lesson, we need a pencil, a Sharpie, markers, something to spray water with, watercolor paper, and tin foil. When drawing these guys, I like to start with the eyes and the mouth and the hat first. Draw a light till you get it right. Surround your face with puffy lines, jagged lines, wavy lines, or straight lines. I like to have a variety of different monsters on my paper. I have jagged teeth, I have tongue sticking out, and I even have words in mouths. You can even draw food. I'm drawing a donut here with a silly face. Miles and Harrison are using their imagination and making up their own silly monsters. The next step is to trace over your lines with a Sharpie. When you are finished, erase all your pencil marks. The next step is to color with your washable markers on top of a piece of tin foil. You can also use a gallon Ziploc bag. The more you color on your tin foil, the more colorful your art, your final artwork will be. Set aside your tin foil and then spray your outlined artwork with water. Make sure you get it all wet. Bring back your tin foil and lay your wet paper face down on the colored side of your tin foil and rub, rub, rub. Make sure you get all the corners. Carefully lift up your paper off the tin foil and look at what you've done. Many of you Leos have already done this in my classroom, but we used a laminated piece of paper.
lay your paper flat and let it dry. It will flatten out even more once it's dry. Take your colored markers again and you can add details coloring in some of your guys. You can also add details by outlining your lines with markers. Once you're finished outlining, you could take a wet paintbrush and blur those lines To make your guys look more three-dimensional, you can add a shadow with a gray marker going around your characters. And now you're done. Here's Harrison and Miles' work.